Hi everyone, how are you? Okay, we're back to you today and we will do some problem about electric field, electric potential for conductors. Our example about spheres, as we did before. Let us start and solve two problems. And I think these two problems will make the concept clear. And I, here, what I did, I prepared the problem for you, which is we have two spheres. One of them has a charge equal to negative for microcolumn, and the other one has a charge of 12 microcolumn. But we need to find the electric field at J, find the electric field at J. And the voltage, which is the electric potential, find electric field at J, and voltage as J. We need to find the electric potential at J. As long as we have the point J here, we can consider all this sphere as a point charge, as a point charge equal to Q. You see, all this sphere becomes a point charge. Now let us start. Which one are we going to find first? E and J. To find the electric field at any point, as, as I said that, to find, to find the electric field at any point, you have to assume there is a positive one charge at that point. Quickly, you assume there is a positive one charge at this point. A positive one at the point J. Let me just use different than the green. We have to assume there's a plus one charge here. Plus one, always. At any point you want to find the electric field, you assume there is what? A positive one charge. Since J inside sphere 2, since J inside the sphere 2 sphere 2 and sphere 2's conductor is conductor then E of 2 equals 0 you remember this guys? because this conductor the only electric field we're going to have at point J comes from where? From this guy. From this guy. Then E1, this is negative, and this is what? Positive. Then we'll have the electric field direction goes this way. Go goes this way. You see that? This, this positive one and this this electric field comes from sphere one only. There is no sphere, there is no electric field come from J because the point J is inside the sphere two. And this is easy to calculate. Easy to calculate. E two equal K, you remember the formula? Q one E at J. E at J. You know I'm gonna do something now. Uh, I want to do something just to make the concept clear. E at J equal E from 1, E from 2. And E from 2 equals 0. Since well, this the point J inside sphere 2, then left K Q over D square. K is 9 times 10 to the 9. And the Q for this guy 4. And we don't plug the negative for the electric field, 4 times 10 to the negative 6. And the distance from here to there, from this here, 4, 24, and 6, 30 centimeter, which is 30 times 10 to the negative 2 square. OK. Now, arithmetic equal a 10 here. We have 9 minus 6 
and here we have negative, you see these two guys, if you multiply negative 2 and ne this negative 4, when you bring it, bring it up, it becomes what? I'm going to do it green, plus 4. Now here what we have, 9 times 4, 36. And 30 square, 900. Time, this guy becomes 10. 9 minus 6 is 3, plus 4 is 7. 36 over 900. Uh, divide by 9, divide by 9. This go 9 goes to the 900, 100. And this goes 4 times. Then 0 0.04. Time 10 to the Newton per power. We're done with what? With finding the electric field as J. And this going to the where? to the right, or you can write negative x-axis, negative x-axis, or to the left. Let us find the voltage. Let us find the voltage for this at point J. Then V at J, remember, voltage or electric potential, electric potential is scalar. Somewhere, guys, we are close. We'll find it. One minute. It's worth it. It's nice to see this. Okay, to the left we said, now for the electric potential, the electric potential is what? a vector quantity, a scalar quantity, scalar, it's scalar, it's, I'm sorry for what's happened, but let us back and find the voltage, voltage as J equal voltage from the sphere 1 plus voltage from sphere 2, from sphere 1, sphere 1 back here, you see the volt from sphere 1, we're going to take the whole distance from here to 30 centimeter. But for sphere 2, the, if you remember the voltage inside, the voltage inside any point on and this sphere and the sphere, the same as the voltage on the surface, which is V1, V1 equal uh, K Q1 over D for D the big D, since V2 this is going to be K Q2 over R2 because J is inside the since it's inside the sphere 2 K we can take K out Q1 over D Q2 over R2 which is 9 times 10 to the 9 and Okay, something you have to see. When I apply my number Q1 negative, I'm going to use it negative, right? And Q2 is positive. Thirty times ten to the negative two, the distance, and this negative four times ten to the negative six, plus. And here Q2, twelve times ten to the negative six, over. Uh, 6 centimeters, 6 times 10 to the negative 2. Look guys, 
the negative 2 the negative 6 the negative 6 the negative 6 and the negative 6 and the negative 2 and the negative 2 you can't take them out 9 times 10 to the 9 minus 6 minus 6 and the plus 2 plus 2 what left inside negative 4 over 30 and 12 over 6 this guy becomes 9 times 10 9 times 10 to the 9 minus 6 3 plus 2 5 and this guy becomes negative 2 over 15 the plus 12 over 6 is 2 you can simplify this 15 this 5 you can do it 9 times 10 to the 5 negative 2 15 1 15 negative 2 plus 30 because this over 1 which is 18 over 15 which is 18 over 15 and here 9 you can use calculator and 10 to the 5 and this is 15 you can cancel this with this 3 5 and the 3 and you can use your calculator to multiply 8 times 13 54 54 divided by 5 108 which is 10 point 8 times 10 to the 5 volt Good. Now, the other problem I need you to see here. Here we have a new problem. I want to explain it. Here we have the same two spheres. Sphere 1, sphere 2. They are in, in a distance 20 centimeters from the surface to the surface. Somebody came to this place, came yesterday. What he did? He put the two spheres together. They let them contact each other. What's going to happen? Then, what's going to happen? Let us see. Then, he brought them back to the same distance. Now, you're going to come, you will see your two spheres at the same distance. But what's going to happen with these two charges? This is the question. Do you still have the same charge here and the same charge here? Let us solve this problem. Okay, here, since there's a contact between the two conductors, we used to talk about conductors, the charges, the two charge, the two charge will move the two charges will move between the two spheres till we have the same potential for both. Imagine, same what? Electric potential. Electric potential. Then, what's going to happen? The two charge going to move between this and this. Under the, under, under, Conservation principle of charges. 
which is me. Come on. Come on. Conservative charge, which is mean. Q before equal Q after. Q up. There is no loss in charges. There is no loss in charges. There is no loss in charge. The amount of charge before and after is going to be the same. What I mean by this? Q before. Q1 plus Q2, Q after, we don't know, Q1 prime, we're going to call it Q2 prime, good? Now, what is Q1 prime here? Q1 plus Q2, Q1 is negative 4 microcolumn plus Q2, 12 microcolon. This, this, this is before, which is 8, right? Negative 4 plus 12, we're going to take it as negative. 8 microcolon equal Q1. Then at the end, the two sphere, both of them, they will have positive charge up to 8 microcolon. What's the other condition? Then the first, we said we have two conditions, right? The, uh, the charge will work move between the spheres till they have the same electric potential under what same electric what which we said electric potential let us see how this is going to help us to find the two charges which is mean v1 prime equal v2 prime what v1 k q1 prime over r1 k q2 prime over r2 watch here what happened here with Q, the two Q's? K cancel with what? With K. Then we have Q1 prime over what R1? How much our radius? 4. Now, because we have ratio and the proportion, we don't, don't worry about what? About the centimeter. You can add 4 centimeter. And the Q2 prime over the other one is 6 centimeter. Did you see? Centimeter is cancelled with centimeter. Now we have, we can do this one for Q, another equation, cross multiply, cross multiply for Q1, for Q2, 6Q1. Solve for one of them, divide by 4, divide by 4, Q2 equal 3 over 2 Q1, 3 over 2 which is 1.5, 1 1.5 Q1. Bring back this equation, leave the 8, Q1, we add, uh, right? Q1 is Q1 prime, these primes, Q1 prime and Q1.5 Q1 prime. Then what I did, you lift Q1 prime, Q2 prime is 1.5 Q1 prime. Now, one step left to finish this problem, which is 8 equal 2.5 Q1 prime. Divide by 2.5, divide by 2.5, which is give you Q1. What is Q1 equal? If you divide, use your calculator, Q1 equal. Uh, 
3.2 mic per column. How about Q1 prime? How about the other charges? Q2 equal 1.5 here. You see that? Q2 1.5 Q1 1.5 time 3.2 which is 4.8 microcolumn. Now, okay, good. This is 3.2 microcolumn. This is 4.8. The sum is what? Well, 8 microcolumn. This is the principle of conservation of charges. Thank you, guys. And I wish for you a good day and see you next time with the new topic of physics. If you have any topic in your head, please just contact us anytime you want. Have a nice day.